Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I'm actually recording on the Tuesday I'm supposed to be going to work <laughs> so this is exciting. Um, but what we're going to do now is go do a rival. I feel like... Yes, we'll go do arrival, and then I'll maybe do, after that, I will run around and check and make sure that nobody else has anything new for me, but I am a bit, I'm a bit anxious, I guess, that I need to get going <laughs> in real life. <laughs> and also, I guess, kind of in the game, too. Oh, well, it looks like I'm not going to hit the 100% of every system. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, here we go. Okay. I didn't know where the mass relay was. Half our fuel remains. I don't even remember. I'm trying to get to the. Trying to get to the main. Yeah, there we go. Arrival. Yes, rescue Dr. Kenson. Yeah, I'm a little anxious. I'm like, okay, well, like in real life, for one thing, I uh, yeah. like I got to get going. But also, like I'm, I'm anxious to finish things up here and get into Mass Effect Three. Oh yeah, so we're we're in heavily contest, not even contest. We're we're heavily into Batarian space, which is bad. We don't want to be here. Oh yeah, the SR2 is an independent vessel, strongly resembles the SR1, an Alliance ship. <laughs> and also, if they know I'm in here, they're gonna be peeved, so. I am interested. Yeah, Batarians don't like us. Spy satellites circle it. So not only do they try to keep out other people though, but they keep a close watch on their own people. Very Big Brother. Very Big Brother-esque. have the spy satellites everywhere. John Grissom. He's mentioned in the novels. Off we go. Just me? Is it just me? For real? I don't. I. I think I have only done this DLC once, maybe twice. But as we all know, I have the memory of a goldfish. Why am I by myself? <laughs> this seems ill-advised. Unless, unless I don't remember and there was some sort of uh, directive that it was supposed to only be me, but it's not like my people wouldn't know what I'm doing, you know? Like, I'm like, mm, yeah, just put me down here. Like, they know where I'm at, you know? So I might as well just bring somebody with me. But let here, let's look at the... Asked me to infiltrate a Batarian outpost and rescue Dr. Amanda Kenson. Kenson is a deep cover operative and scientist who claims to have proof of imminent Reaper invasion. That's why we're here. Yeah. So. Uh. Cover up. Or not cover Um. Overview. <laughs> Whoa, jeez. Oh, also. Batarians must send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. Yeah, well, she's been here for eons, it seems. Can I go down? No? I, it looks like I could go down. What's that? Well, we're stuck here. I have no idea. I just... Opened something? Oh, I made a walkway. I see. I was like, okay, 
follow the wire. So I did, and there it is. Also, this is gonna be like close combat fighting. I'm gonna go out with the shotgun. There we go. Yeah, I think if I had to be captured by anybody, I would not want to be captured by Batarians. They are, well, they're slavers, for one thing. Like, that's, they're like, it's part of our cultural identity. I, I heard you, I saw you. This place is run down, even for a prison. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, of everybody, like, I don't know, I mean, even Krogan. Get your hands I think I'd rather you. be caught by Krogan than Batarians. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like I could just, um, power through, activate what? Oh, I feel like I could power through some of those, uh, like the fire and whatnot, the laser beams. I'm a genius. I was like, what was in here? I hear humans are scurrying like vermin out in the asteroid belt. Is anywhere safe from them? We should arm a mission to flush them all out. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, is this like a side room? And I'm, oh man, that sucks. <laughs> I, I'm like, haha, I'm so smart. I skipped all the things that you were wanting me to do, but no. Should have just gotten this way. <laughs> That's okay though, I don't mind. These are goodies that would have been good to have. We wanted to slam an asteroid in the mass relay. Can they even do that? What difference does it make? We caught them. I can see I can see you guys through the wall kind of. Bird. So I'm not a sniper. Oh, not gonna get a chance to be a sniper. Still got her down in the prison. I just kill her. Interrogating a human's a waste of time. Achievement. I know they've nerfed the achievements hardcore and it makes it so I don't really care that much. Oops. Um, but, like, I still do care. Like, if they want me to get the super easy achievements that they baby down for us, then I will. But, yeah, because there used to be one for, like, every ability. Like, you had to overload, like, a certain number of people. You had to, um, breathe. Um, every warp. All those. Um... And now they've limited it to, like, overlo overload, uh, okay. overload, uh, warping a barrier, and, like, one other thing. And, and then they also still have, like, the melee kill thing. Like, get 25 melee kills. And you're like, okay, whatever. <laughs> like, it's fine. Like, I, I, don't, I normally don't mind it, but they've really reduced it. You're supposed to, like, hack. There's one for, like, hacking so many people, you know, etc., etc. I'm lost. I'm already lost. I don't know where to go. Just let me out. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, 
How am I supposed to know where I'm going? Okay, here we go. We have to make this one an example to the others. We can't respond kindly to terrorists. Hello, boys. Oh, dang it. They're on different sides of the room. Oh, well. shouldn't be doing this with a controller. It's infinitely more difficult. Hang on. Okay. Let me get this. Guards are chatty. What was that for? Oh, should I go down? Oh, okay. <laughs> do I go down again? What do you want from me? I don't know. Maybe it gives me cover down there in a fight later. Exactly, or you want me to do like lift up those crates? Oh, go under here. Maybe? No. Oh my gosh, it's just stuff. Just stuff back there, really? Oh, so there is a reason to try to sneak past these guys. Because, see, look at they removed. There's no covert action achievement in the Legendary Edition, so your choice of strategy is entirely aesthetic. You can sneak past everybody or just murderize them like I did. Why did they remove achievements? I don't under... Like, why? What is the point of removing achievements? You know? Like, you, you, you remade... Like, you remastered the game. Like, why are you taking things away? Okay, freaking... Apparently, I just didn't... <laughs> I hope I edit most of that out. Jeez. I was like, what the heck is going on? Apparently I just needed to walk. I, I thought I tried to walk onto the top of the truck earlier, but apparently not. You can activate it again to get something, because I cheated, obviously, and looked at the freaking walkthrough, because I was so confused as to what I was supposed to be doing. I don't have time to play games. You know, Batarians actually do have... The Batarians apparently have, uh... I think it's a derelict reaper? So it's kind of weird that they're like... Is this, is this guy really not... Well, 
지 All right, time to break you out. Let's go. Who are you? What are you doing, Dr. Kenson? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you. I look so cool. Commander Shepard. It's me. I heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. It's too late. Oh, no. Then we'll find one. Go. That's fair. Ready. I can't get off the dang damn wall. Let me out. This is a cell block. There should be a security console here somewhere. I'm just making, I'm just running, I don't know. This is a cell block, there should be something here, like okie dokie. I pressed the wrong button again. Oh. Oh, she's got abilities. They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Got you. Surprise the teams to cell block now. I want to like set up turrets and stuff, but I can't. I don't have that. In uh, Andromeda, you can. Shepard looks so cool. Look how shiny her armor is. I love it very much. Where are they? Oh, that. Why are you giving me orders, the scientist lady? Oh, that sucks for you, my dude. They're coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. There's a lot of in the back, you know?
I realize they had to dumb this down a bit because there's only one of you, really, but wow. I'm spending a lot of time just sitting here waiting. <laughs> Unless I'm actually supposed to be doing something. Ah, oh, that's probably what it is. I'm supposed to be going to close. To I thought she was closing the door. Oh my gosh. I thought she was doing that. She could do that from where she's at. That's why. I was like, why am I just sitting here? This is, that's dumb. How? I thought she was like taking the time to like hack the door. You know, and I, like, that's why I was just sitting here and I was like, what's going on? Like, what's she doing over there besides, like, accessing systems, which is what you close the door with? Oh my gosh. See, she's got door control. Why can't she just close the door herself? A blast shield. So, we have to break I, the locks on the I, I wait. <sighs> let me out. <laughs> Just let me out. We could just go. I guess maybe the shuttle doesn't have shielding. Oh, we do. Okay, we're fine. We're good. Let's just, yeah. I was gonna say, let's do that. <laughs> Light them on fire with our little tiny tail engines. Engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. They are supposed to be invulnerable, though, so this is a little odd. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. It's classic too. They did that. I think the Turans did that to the Krogan or something like. No, the Salarians or something did that to the Krogan. I think at one point. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too, but I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. Is the project still operational? I... I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. 
the explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. Which, like, I don't know. I guess it's hard to, like, you can't, like, evacuate the system because people don't believe the Reaper in invasion is imminent, you know? So she was willing to make that, that call to destroy the system and the Batarians here just to give a little more time for the Reapers to not, you know, kill millions more people. How are you caught? We've been smuggling Starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. Where is she? Her eyes. <laughs> I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. More questions. What's a Reaper artifact doing in an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study. Regardless of their yeah, purpose. but you also run the risk of uh, being brainwashed. <laughs> the, even like she said, the dead reapers still hold power and they still can brainwash you. How exactly does a reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the reapers uh, alive. Oh, okay. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. But the reapers are coming, Commander. That much I know for certain. You got that from a Reaper and not a Prothean artifact? I'd be, I'd be pretty, yeah, Doc, here we go. Okay, I was like, can we bring up the indoctrination point, please? If you're working near a Reaper artifact, how have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. Uh, that... You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what she's She's definitely doing. indoctrinated. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to project base. Off. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. It's a trap! I actually, I don't, it's not, I'm pretty sure it's not a trap. <laughs> Part of the vid I watched to help me figure out how to get into the dang nab, like, truck issue I was having. Uh, it was old, it was old footage, right? Like, original game footage, and I was just like, oh, buddy, looking at the graphics on that again, just maybe, again, reappreciate the Legendary Edition. Look at me. Here we are. Welcome to Project I am a Base. legend. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. That's just horrifying. Just counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Alright, I am probably going to call this one here and do the Arrival DLC in two parts. I don't think it's going to be much longer than this, but thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. We're about... Like, this is actually, like, it's big. Like, the Reaper invasion is imminent in two days. Like, she's not lying. And... As many of you know, the only thing that gives us what little time we have between the end of Mass Effect 2 and the start of Mass Effect 3 is what we're about to do in Arrival. So, despite the cost it will have on us, uh, but 
thank you all again for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Guido, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher and Adam, my tree tier patrons. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. You guys are the super bestest, and I appreciate you very much. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.